what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss how to end the you yeah no 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 we will discuss how to begin the new year with new year resolutions yes but we already know the resolutions that we take and we fail right so today we will discuss some small tips on how to maintain our new year resolutions all right Therefore, if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it somewhere here, there. And if you want a personal consultation, then approach me in my website below, Vedic Renaissance. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with others. And if you want me to make any other videos, then let me know and share your thoughts and your vibes about the new year with me. All right. And yes, wish every one of you a very, very, very happy new year once again. I hope whatever you desire, God fulfills it. <laughs> all right. And before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you fulfill your new year resolutions. Okay. So I'll put this a bit down so that I'm a bit more visible. All right. So what is the problem with new year resolutions? Why is everybody getting obsessed about making resolutions but not fulfilling them or why is not everybody concerned about maintaining that yes because there are certain mistakes which we do one of the biggest mistakes is we set goals we set the resolutions which means we write it down or we do something or we take a resolution in our head all right but unfortunately that doesn't work for long term which means it can work till the month of January but as soon as February comes you forget it which simply means that instead of making goals what should we do we should visualize them yes visualize means suppose let me give you an example suppose a person has decided that he or she will come in shape this year yes they'll join the gym or start some yoga class then instead of making that resolution that yes, yes 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 i will join the gym i'll join the yoga class instead of making that they should visualize themselves losing those 10 20 30 kilos and then how how much better they are looking in front of the mirror and in front of everybody and how much they are feeling good inside about themselves right so instead of making uh, resolutions visualize yourself visualize yourself in that outfit which you would want to see yourself in which you are not able to wear now because of your uh, body weight or because of your size <laughs> all right then what happens is you will get motivation every day oh yes 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 i will look like that just imagine okay maybe i am looking like this what if i lose 20 kilos or maybe 10 kilos in one year then how will i look yes then you will be working towards that visualization then you will feel yes 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 i'm already there it's just a matter of time it's just the thing that i have to do but i'm already there you see <laughs> that will help you to stay motivated to the goal and then you will also enjoy the process otherwise if you just take a resolution oh yes yes, yes i will lose 20 kilos to, uh, this year it is very difficult to keep the motivation all right this is what people tell me this is true with everything. Suppose you want to chant some mantra. All right, let's come to spirituality now. Then, then suppose you are planning to leave up something like you are planning to leave alcohol this year or you are planning to leave non-veg this year, meat basically, fish, eggs, everything included, okay. <laughs> then what? Then you visualize yourself. Suppose you are planning to become a vegetarian. Then you visualize yourself that, okay, by the, by the mid of July, I am eating non-vegetarian food only once in a month. Then by November, I am eating once in a week. And then by December, that's it. I am done. Gradually, we are reducing it. All right. Or we are planning to leave smoking. Then we visualize ourselves that we are roaming freely without smoking. Yes, that will help us give that necessary push. The number the second thing which we have to do is we will always write down what our strong points are yes or what is our uh, 
what are the areas which we need to Im improve on basically we are always focusing on the negativities when we say that there is something we need to improve we are actually putting a label that yes he says currently i am deficient in this so instead of doing that if we write down our weak, uh, strengths and we try to improve those should i repeat instead of trying to focus on the weaknesses okay you know this part is bad i need to improve that that is also important but more important than that is we improve our strengths because which is easy to do improving our strengths or reducing our weaknesses <laughs> of course improving all our strengths is much more easier right so when we focus on our strengths rather than focusing on our weaknesses suppose there's a person who is overweight he or she cannot run more than 2 km suppose i'm just giving an example then what happens the person focuses okay no now uh, instead of running 2 km uh, i will run 2 and 1/2 that's okay that's good to do but that can be difficult and that can be draining at times so instead of that the person may not be able to run but what if the person is very strong and he or she can lift a lot of weight in the gym i'm just giving an example it can be anything then along with that he or she should also practice that weight lifting because that is his strength yes or if you are planning to write a book and if you are good at writing then you can start it without without any delay so instead of focusing on our weaknesses we should focus on our strengths all right that is the second tip which i would like to share and the third tip is of course whatever we decide to do either it's material or spiritual irrespective of the goal to keep ourselves motivated we must include some kind of spiritual practices in our day to day schedule then what happens is that will give us the push that will give us the motivation to keep up those commitments because the materialistic life goes down every moment after moment you see the graph is going down like this but spiritual life is always ascending material life is descending spiritual life is always ascending ascending means it always keeps growing it always keeps going up you can never say i have perfected Uh, my spiritual life that cannot happen all right which means that some form of meditation either we decide that apart from our new year resolutions we will read the gita 10 minutes a day or if you are a muslim watching this then you read the quran if you have read it read it again if you have read it 100 times read again if you are a christian watching this then you decide that you read the bible or any other uh, spiritual book which uh, gives you that nourishment which helps you to go ahead in life because the spiritual objects they act on the level of the soul and material objects will only act in this material realm so when we need to solve some problem we have to be above them yes but if we stay in the material realm only then it becomes next to impossible that we solve these problems by staying in this realm so even to solve material problems we need the help of spirituality and spiritual outlook yes then what happens our mind is calm peaceful by nature and then uh, the job becomes very easy because then it doesn't take much effort or much energy to maintain our resolutions the problem is the only reason why we can't maintain our resolutions is our mind is not peaceful we think to do something but then the mind says no i will not let you do that that's the main reason so to counter that we need to stabilize the mind that is like the prerequisite and that will only happen when you uh improve your spiritual life yes maybe some meditation or some mantra you chant whichever your guru must have suggested to you or many people have taken consultation from me i have also suggested them different mantras so or reading the holy scriptures or you uh, decide that once in a month i will go to this holy place i will meet the holy people and i will take uh, knowledge and inspiration from them yes i will learn from them what life is who god is there you see <laughs> then that can help us to maintain the commitments which we have taken in our material life going to the gym or losing weight or learning some new skill or getting married or anything it can be okay so that is it from my side wish you good luck with your new year resolutions and i hope that 
you can at least this year maintain the resolutions first don't set goals visualize them okay if you are planning to lose 20 kilo weight visualize yourself oh i will be able to uh, wear that dress how beautiful it will be imagine yourself wearing that dress and going to the party that will give you so much happiness yes and don't focus on your weaknesses focus on your strengths if you take care of your strengths one day you will realize your weaknesses will automatically be taken care of yes you have to also work on them but they are like uh, working on them will be like a by product of working on your strengths all right and thirdly always practice spiritual uh, things take spiritual guidance take enlightenment from your gurus from your guides from your teachers your counselors or whoever is preaching to you and continue chanting mantras and reading the holy scriptures and try to pray to god and seek enlightenment from him by saying god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will definitely find him in the new year resolutions all right if you are new to this channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want a consultation approach me through my website below and if you have any other questions queries or comments then let me know in the comment section and until next time wish you good luck with your new year resolutions and i hope that using these three techniques you can get done you can get through you can cross over all the new year resolutions that you will make in this year not only this year in all the previous years which you made and you failed i hope all of the resolutions of your last decades and your past lifetimes are cleared and you achieve great success and happiness and enlightenment all right until next time happy new year wish you good luck bye bye see you